Right, so the title of this video, I'm leaving. Um, it's not clickbait at all. I am actually leaving. I've handed in my notice here at Rothamsted and in about 10 days time from when this video comes out, or two weeks or so, um, I will no longer be working here. I've been telling you there's been some news coming and this is what it is, um, which might be a bit of a surprise for some people. I've decided that I want to go and do something different, um, which you'll see in time. And I had an opportunity to go and do it somewhere and I've taken it. It's not an opportunity that was probably going to come up anytime soon ever again. Um, so I just made a decision, sticking with it, and, uh, and, and that's going to be me here, done. As a lot of you will know, I've worked here at Northwick for about four years. I started in the middle of the first lockdown in April, and I can honestly say I have loved every minute of working here. It's not a normal farm. If you come from a commercial farming background like I did, it takes a bit of getting used to, but the work that goes on here is very, very interesting, and I've enjoyed doing it, and I've really enjoyed the people I work with. Obviously, you see on the videos um, the banter we have between me, Bowman, and Dr. Phil, and, and everyone, and that was probably the sticking point as to why I haven't gone to pursue what I'm going to sooner it was just because I enjoy working here with them and if you enjoy doing something then you don't really feel like you're working do you as I say the time has come the opportunity has come and so I am uh, I'm going I will of course be taking you guys and JM farming with me I'm not going to say where I'm going yet because I want to get there get my head down settle in get to work before I worry about doing videos. The timing of this is all pretty horrible <laughs> as uh, you know we're going to be imminent on silage time when I've gone so John will have to take on doing the foraging, um, Joe's going to have to take on doing the bulk of the tractor work, Dr Phil's currently off his feet with a torn ACL so he's not around so um, yeah I feel a little bit guilty but I can't really help that. But yeah, as I said, you know, the opportunity has come and I can't refuse it. If you refuse opportunities when they come, you never get anywhere. So as much as I love working here, I'm, uh, I'm going off to do something else. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone at Rothamsted. I know I'll see them after this comes out and whatever. And um, yeah, everyone that's taught me anything or been in videos or, you know, just made the experience of working here enjoyable uh, it's been it's been fantastic I've only worked here four years um, but I've been coming here a lot longer with dad as I've been growing up and I think I'm right in saying that when I leave I will end a 37 year streak of a Misselbrook working here um, now obviously the majority of that is my dad but uh, yeah it it is a job but it feels like more than a job coming here say so I've been coming here for so long it's all I've ever known him doing growing up so it's going to be maybe odd, but um, I'm sure we'll still see the guys. I'll pop in for coffee when I can, and I'll see Phil back my place and John up there as well, and and whatever. But yeah, that is my big news. I wasn't going to leave you hanging till the end of the video. Um, I thought I'd just get that out in the open now. So yeah, big changes coming for me and also for JM Farming. I'm sure you guys will follow along as you always do. Um, I'm really excited about what I'm going to do. I'm sure you guys will love it as well. I say when I when I've got my head down and I'm settled, we'll get the camera out. But we'll probably be dropping back to a couple of videos a week rather than three. Because in all honesty, I am completely burnt out with editing videos, and it sucks the fun out of doing it. And that's the whole reason I do it in the first place is because I enjoy making the videos and I enjoy doing the editing. And trying to do three videos a week on here and one at back my place is just got on top of me lately so we'll probably drop back to doing a couple of week once I've moved jobs and uh, and yeah so that's my big announcement feel free to message me privately if you want to know some more information you'll see it when it all comes out anyway where we're going what we're doing but um yeah right let's get on and actually do something shall we right so we're out and about with the first spreader just set Joe off I've given him a couple of uh, lessons whilst I've been in the tractor with him 
He's now out on his own. It's interesting, I've never seen the spreader working from outside the tractor. So this is going to be a silage field. There's quite a lot of grass here already. Hopefully we can see somewhere the fertiliser that he's spread. A couple bits there on that bit of clover, look. It sounds like it's making a horrible noise, but it's the only noise I've ever known it make. When he's finished today, we'll um, give it a complete washout and put some grease in the grease nipples and everything. Ready to go again then for uh, the next time it wants using. But yeah, I'm going to miss that tractor and that spreader. So I was heavily involved in buying that. Mowing, I really miss mowing. And of course I was all lined up to be the forager driver this year, but um, yeah, life goes on with, with something else. So I'm just going to make sure Joe's all right because the headland spreading on this spreader is different from the main body of spreading. So we'll just watch him get around the headland and change it all over to uh, the main work. And then we'll leave him to it. Best way to learn how to do something is to do it, I think. So when I started working here, I'd not done much fertile spreading. I'd not done much, well, I'd done mowing, but I hadn't done it with two mowers. I'd done zero spraying. Uh, and everything that I've used, including the track and all the guidance and isobus and everything like that, I've learned by doing it. I hadn't been taught to do any of that. I'd either looked online or just done it. As far as fertile spreading goes, it's fairly simple with that machine, other than having to change from headland to normal mode. Because it's all on the GPS, as you drive round it spreads. If you drive over the same bit again, it won't spread it. It's quite clever. As long as you tell it what field you're in and how much you want to spread, it's just a job of driving along. Anyway, I've given Joe a set of instructions to follow every time he enters a field. So he, um, he should be all right. I reckon he's away. There it goes. Spurting. Oh, it chucks it miles. You don't realise how far it chucks it from sat in the cab. Anyway, this is only a little one hectare field, so he's done the outside. He's only got to go down it once and back up again, and then he's done. He seems pretty happy. I'm going to leave him to it. I'm going to head back for my lunch. Oh! Expertly done. Oh! No car! No! No car! One, two, three, four, five. That's a box. Box half. All right, come on, mother. Come on, Cal. There's calves everywhere. Come on. Right, ready? Let's go. Get out of the way, Cal. Look how close this was to a bad day. Nearly down in Wellington. Yes. The shine on John's eye. Don't mess with the cows. There's a lot of people concerned for your welfare. Uh, that's very kind. Yeah, yeah. I'm deeply touched. He's fine. Yeah, it it looks horrific. It didn't really hurt that much. No. It, was, it was pretty frightening, I must admit. Right. So they're going on the lorry. That one's going to have the thing out his nose. Uh, yeah, there's no so if we scan them through, we'll know who to pick. Up we go. See how well my tying skills have lasted. Well, as you saw, we're loading up some cows and calves. We probably only saw us loading the calves. We come up to the first field we turn cattle into. So it's one of our GS4 lays. One with a nice new track along the outside. I've beaten John up here, because obviously I'm in the truck and I'm a bit quicker. He's bringing the cows up in the uh, tractor and box. I'm just going to let these out. He'll be here any minute. Calves won't go far, they'll soon find their mums anyway when the mums get here. We'd normally let them out together, but... You right there, calves? So John's injury on his head that he sustained, he had the tractor and box, and it was like this, and he went to pull this gate up, and as he pulled it, the cow kicked out, and that bit up there hit him square on the side of the head there. That's why he's got that lovely black iron egg on his 
charge forward. Oh! Look at you go! Here come the other cows to see what's on. Come on, buddies! We've actually got a set of twins here, so we've got 11 calves and there's 10 cows coming. Whilst we're up here, we'll run around and check all the other stock that's out. We're going to have another day tomorrow of trying to get as much out as we can um, before the weekend. All that will be left in is there's a few calves to go onto one of the grazing projects. John's keeping back a few cows that have got feet that need trimming. Perhaps next week when we've got a bit more time, we'll trim up their feet and then we'll bring those out in a job lot as well. Anyway, I'm going to wait here and let him through this gate and reunite all these calves with their mothers and then head back. They've been very inquisitive calves. You come say hello. Oh! Getting some milk in their calf. I keep thinking I can hear the hum of the 6620 big boots. I'm pretty sure I can now. I hope it was this field John wanted to turn him out into because we're never going to catch him now. There he is. He has arrived with his new tyres, he might have too much grip. Some boy Bowman. Sort of a bit of uh, reuniting going on. Ah, oh, so it looked like honor. Off they go. These, the cows have to fight and the calves just do running. I don't understand it really. What's going on? Oh no! Bit of slurry spreading, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I might reverse back a bit before I throw this back on. Or pull forward. Oh yeah, so it's down here, isn't it? Is it worth you looking uphill? Because it will drain back there, won't it? I suppose it will just continuously drain then while you're trying to get the thing back in there. If I pull along the side, looking uphill. Yeah. Bleh. Lovely. There's a tank in the bottom of the box that collects all the well, poo and wheat so that it doesn't go on the road for other road users to enjoy. Occasionally you have to dump it out. That bit will grow well anyway. Oh, look at that. You <laughs> can see exactly where he's been. They're loving life down there. Look at them. Loving life. Do you want me to drive back to Nethercott? See those? Yeah, if you could. I don't know. I think that's how it's done, isn't it? Right, Operation Abandoned Field, whilst the cows are all the way down there somewhere. Just come to check some heifers, and we've had a tree fall down into their water trough, which is interesting. So I've got a little hand saw with me. So I'll try and uh, sort it out here for them. The rest of this can stay here until such time when some better apparatus is here to take it away. You hear that? That's good. Oh. It's a handy thing to have in the truck for situations such as this. Right, that's uh, not interfering with them being able to drink now. I daren't cut any more because it will just fall on me and I'll look stupid. You lot are being a pain. What are you doing here? Still loose. No oh, problem with the lights here, I need to check those. I can hear a forager somewhere in the distance. This is interesting, here is a bale. That's been there for about four years. That one, bust its way through the hedge. It actually came in this way. And uh, there's still some bales that we made of hay out there last year. I think I have a home for them. Right, I need to get out of here without breaking any heifer's legs. Out the way, please. 
<laughs> out of the way. They're very inquisitive. They're a wet part of the field here. This ground probably wants a bit of nitrogen putting on it, being completely honest. Right, let's get out of here quick. Oh Lord, they're chasing me! Don't run from the Lord! Quick shop, quick shop. Oh no, I've nearly stuck myself in it. Ha, beat ya. Oh God, messing this up. Better. Cheers, heifers. Top tip, keep the knot, if you tie a gate, the side that the cows are not. And they can't reach through. I mean, they can reach through. Right, you lot. See you later. What's the date today? 25th. So, probably not next week, but the week after, a week on Monday, the bull will go out with them. Right, back where we started the day in the tractor. I just washed out the spreader behind me and putting that away clean. Um, we'll probably end up using it again tomorrow, but I do not like leaving fertilizer residue on anything any longer than I need to because it just eats stuff. But, um, yeah, moved a load of cattle out today, which is good. Hoping that Joe will go fertilising again tomorrow and we'll spend another day moving cattle, try and get most of them out, other than the ones that need their feet looking at. And that's about it for the day, really. So thank you very much for watching. Um, whilst we're on this video, I better just say thank you to Mason's Kings for all the support they've given me whilst I've been here at Rothamsted. Um, you're well aware from watching uh, over the years, we were pretty much a John Deere fleet with a couple of red tractors here as well. And... Um, They've always been extremely helpful for picking up the phone if I need something to deal with. Um, the guys in the parts department have always been incredibly helpful. And they've obviously sponsored the channel for a little while uh, now as well, um, which is uh, amazing. So big thank you to those guys. Um, we won't be carrying on the sponsorship when I go, but um, I just wanted to take the time to say thank you. If you've ever got any questions um, regarding anything John Deere related or anything they sell, just pick up the phone and ring them because... 99% of the time, if I've ever had a problem with something, especially on the tractors, I ring them up and they can sort it out over the phone. Uh, they can either tell me something I need to do or they can actually log into the tractor itself and talk me through it. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. So give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm sure you'll want to keep up to uh, where I'm going and what's going to be going on. There will be a few more videos from here before I leave. Um, I've got another, um, say, two or three weeks as from now, probably 10 days from when you're watching this. Um, before I do leave. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.